Hi, in this week's video, I'm going to show you how to center and tighten your treadmill belt. Let's get cracking. This treadmill is a Nordic Track 2450, which I absolutely love, and I'll put a link to it in the description if you're thinking of buying one. That also supports the channel, so thank you. But this will work on nearly any treadmill. So Peloton tread as well, any Nordic Track, Proform, etc most treadmills. So let me show you what to do. With this particular model of tread, the belt should be out of sight and just below here. But as you can see on this side, the belt has moved across slightly. So there's a gap between the edge of this and the actual edge of the belt. And the way to center and tighten your belt is to work on this roller, which sits here at the back under the belt. I'm going to use this kitchen rolling pin just to demonstrate what I mean. So pretend this is a roller that's in the back here. If I want the belt to move in this direction, I'm going to tighten this side. And what that will do is it will pull back on this side of the roller. I've exaggerated this. And it will mean that the belt will naturally go in that direction. If I wanted to move it that direction, I would tighten this side, which would push the belt that way. So slightly counterintuitive, but it works. At the back of the treadmill, you'll have an adjuster hole. So you can see two here, but if we look in here, I don't know how obvious it is, but that bottom one just Adds, holds the trim on on the back. So we're actually gonna be working on the top one. I've turned the treadmill off and with an Allen key, you should get this with your tread or you can, it, it's just a standard Allen key. I'm gonna go half a turn. So that's half a turn. I'm gonna turn the treadmill back on and let it run. And let's see what happens when I start the tread. Can you believe I press start on the tread before I press start on the camera? But hopefully you can see that it's moved it, so it, it's moved it over. So this is exactly where I want it. So after that half adjustment, if you feel it's not quite there, then make a one quarter adjustment. So if it's moved, but not quite enough, your adjustments will go from half a turn to a quarter of a turn until it's exactly where you want it to be. Tightening the belt is very much the same principle as centering the belt. So we're on this roller here on the back, this is where we're gonna work. And instead of pulling one side back, just to move the belt in either direction, we're gonna pull both sides back just to tighten the belt, tighten the roller, uh, then that's tightening the belt. So to do this, I'm gonna take my Allen key, which came with the tread, and I'm gonna pop it in the hole to adjust, and I'm gonna do half a turn all the way that way on this side, but just as importantly, on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna take it and just go half a turn. And then I'm gonna run the treadmill just to see how things feel. And if that belt feels like it's tight enough, then perfect. If it feels like it needs a bit more adjustment, if it feels like it needs a lot of adjustment, I'll go half a turn again and then um, check and see if it's slipping or if it feels loose. Or if I feel like I'm almost there, I'll go quarter turn adjustments. Well, I hope you found that video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I know all YouTubers say that, and it, but it does really help the channel. And if you do decide to buy an audit track treadmill, I'll put a link in the description. Once again, that also supports the channel, so it's much appreciated. Until next time, see you soon.